actually I had a meeting with the president of Ghana yeah. uh, last Friday on this. The idea is to have a bullet train, a high-speed train, going from the south, which yeah. is Accra, the yeah. main capital, and yeah. Takradi, through Kumasi, all yeah. the way to the border, mm -hmm. to Tamale. Yeah. And what this does is that instead of taking four days to go from the south to the north by trucks or by train, whatever, yeah. you can take one and a half hours. Yeah. So technically speaking, you can even live in Tamale and work here. Yeah. So you, you get the sense that... Uh... Kenya. Now, in West Africa, this will be the first. In Ghana, it will be in the Ghana. first. Yeah. And this will be very important because another proposal we have is that you're going to put fiber optics cable along the train mm. route. Yes. And as you go up, you can actually branch off into the different rural areas with this fire. So internet will be everywhere. So but, the, but most importantly, Vincent, you're going to have these trains traveling at 200 miles per hour. And with a fiber optic cable, using the Wi-Fi in the train, you can connect to the internet. So you're saying, in fact, uh, that, that there will be like a double or triple benefit in terms of advancement and speed. Now, these are some of the things we are talking about. In 2022, this idea was brought to His Excellency Nanado Dankwa Akufuado. But they never think about this. They never work towards to achieve something like this. So this man, a Ghanaian man, Dr. Thomas Mensa, brought the technology for Ghana for free. They are not going to pay for the technology. Normally, when something like this is going to happen in a particular country, the most thing, the, the most expensive thing is the technology. But this technology was offered to Ghanaians for free. Nana Dudanko Akufuado did not make use of that advantage. He did not make use of that opportunity. Now the man is dead. Imagine today if they decide to make use of this thing that was brought to them. Four years ago, they are now going to pay for the technology and also pay for the course. But the technology was brought to them free for free. But because you dedicate Nana Biscout, uh, Biscout Nana Prempe, because you were a dedicated NPP member, you couldn't see this, you couldn't talk about this. And this was very, very important to talk about. 